What's up OGs, Hong Nguyen here and welcome back to my channel and in this video I want to talk about the importance of bracing your core. Okay, so if this is your first time to the channel, welcome and here we're all about a smart, sustainable and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for OGs. So OGs can mean older guys or it could mean, well, an OG, an original gangster. <laughs> AKA meaning, you know, older guys, right? Essentially, not literally a, you know, old, like a gangster. So anyways, um, in this video, I want to talk about the importance of bracing. So, you know, bracing is essentially, you know, you making your core tight, right? So you could do that by bracing. So that's kind of like, you know, contracting it as if someone was going to punch you or hollowing. Hollowing would be when you're sucking your belly button in, right? So you're sucking in your gut. So you're trying, if you could visualize it this way, you're sucking in your gut so that it touches your, like all the way back, like you're trying to pull it so that it touches your spine, right? So that's another way of, um, of bracing your core. So why you brace your core? You brace your core because it protects your spine. Now, this is important in weightlifting. When you're lifting weights, okay, you want to brace your core in a lot of instances to protect your spine. Like if you're doing the deadlift, like if you're doing a squat, okay, or even just grabbing the weights off the rack. Like you have to, you know, keep a straight back, of course. Your lower back has to uh, be in the right posture. So you straighten that out, but you got to brace your core at the same time. Now, how, this also applies in, in fighting, you know? So now, how does it apply in fighting? Well, or in sports, combat sports or fighting. Here's the thing, from zero to 100, you know, it takes, it takes, it'll take more time than, than 10 to 100 or 20 to 100. So if you could keep a light contraction in your core in whatever it is that you're doing, even in everyday life, like if you keep a, a let's say I'm sitting down right now, right? And I keep like 10, 20%, that's all I need. Cause sometimes uh, you brace as, uh, as hard according to the effort you're about to, to do. So if you're about to deadlift like 500 pounds, you're gonna have to brace like a motherfucker, right? But if you're just gonna like take off for a sprint, right? Then you'll brace your core maybe at 10, 20%, have it ready, already have it engaged, and then boom, so from 20 to 100, you can, rah, you can go. Like, I hope that makes sense, right? So in martial arts, and also it's, it allows you to, to already be, um, you know, 10, 20%, like already into your effort, you know? So you, your reaction time is much faster and it's much safer too than if you're just, like, let's say you're just slumped down like on a chair like this with zero contraction, bad posture, I'll make another video on the importance of posture. I think I already did, but you know, it never gets old. And there's always like uh, refinements and, and, and fine tuning that you can do to, to improving your posture so that you know, it's, uh, it's, it's more effective for you in everyday life. And okay, so where was I getting? Okay, so if I'm here, I'm like all soft and there's no contraction and I'm all crooked. Now imagine right now I had to get up and run towards the door, right? which is about my door right here, not too far. I would say it's about, um, uh, you know what, 25 feet away, okay? So if I were to like have to get up right now, boom, in this instance at zero, meaning zero contraction here, and then go to that door like that, it's gonna take me longer. And of course, if I don't already have that contraction and I contract while I'm trying to get up, I might hurt myself, right? Whereas if I'm already, let's say my posture is right, like I'm sitting on a chair, I could still keep a straight spine and I have like a 10, 20% contraction because if you contract too hard, remember you can't move, right? Like if you're like, like how are you gonna get off your chair? But if you have a 10, 20% right here, and of course everything else is relaxed and then boom, you gotta go, then you gotta go. So your spine is already, um, much more protected because there's already 10, 20% contraction. So now you just got to get up there to, you know, a hundred. It's much shorter, right? Cause you're already 10, 20% there. 
as opposed to zero and it's safer for your spine. So whatever it is that you're doing, whether it be boxing, striking, kicking, slight contraction, remember slight, like you have to be relaxed so that you can, you can go fast, but you can't be like at zero. So, and you can't be too contracted because then you're not, um, you won't be efficient and it's gonna like, it's gonna slow you down if you're too, if you're too stiff. Right? That makes sense. So that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to discuss that little, little detail that sometimes, or maybe a lot of times is overlooked. So let me know down below, what do you think the importance of uh, keeping a, a slightly contracted uh, you know, core is, right? Is it something that you guys do already? Is it something that uh, you think is important? I definitely think it's important and it makes a difference in, in everyday life, right? But uh, what was I saying again? Yeah, let me know what you think below. Do you think uh, it's something, is this new to you guys? Is it not new? Is it uh, something that you guys find important? Is it something you do already? And it, you know, maybe examples of when you guys uh, did it and it kind of like saved your ass or when you didn't do it or when you've done it and it, it helped and when you didn't do it and it kind of like fucked you up, right? So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for listening. And um, like, comment, subscribe. Sharing is caring. Share this video, helps me grow, you know, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much and peace.